the Gift and Home channel. Today we're going to tell you seven simple secrets for successful email marketing. For years, direct mail has been the best way for an independent retailer to contact his customers, tell them about events in the store, publicize sales, and communicate with him about all the important things that have, are happening in the business. But now we've discovered email. Email is fast, it's cheap, and it's easy. So here are seven ways to make email work well for you. The first one, and you should do this even if you're not ready to start emailing yet, is build a database. At our store, we have a monitor and keyboard on our cash wrap ready for anybody to sign up for our email mailing list as she's shopping in the store. Now what you can't see is under the table is the oldest, sorriest, saddest computer you have ever seen. It is worthless for anything except keeping our website up here for people to sign up to our database. If you don't have this kind of a luxury of room for a computer, at least have cards so people can give you your email. In addition to the email, get their address in case you ever want to send them a real mailing, even if it's just a birthday card. Get the zip code so that you can target their particular zip codes if you want to do a special marketing for a special event. And build the database offline. If you decide you want to start marketing to people and you don't have a list, you're in trouble. So start building that list right away. After you've started building your list and you start to think about doing your first email marketing, set some goals. Is this marketing just to communicate with your customers to remind them you're still there? Are you asking them for more information? Are you selling a certain item? Are you publicizing an event? All of these things work very well with email. Just think about what you're doing with the particular mailing you're sending. Number three, start slowly. Don't think that you're going to immediately plan an extended program of targeted marketing and all of these things. Do one thing at a time. Build your database. Start by just publicizing specific events. It's easy, it's quick, and it won't completely overwhelm you. Number four, show your store's personality. Your store is unlike any other store, and your emailing should reflect it. So be sure that your emailings have the tone of your store, that everything you send has the right colors, the right personality. Make sure that people understand that it is your store reaching out to your customers. Number five, as you become a little more sophisticated, you're going to want to personalize your emailings. As you can see from our sign-up list, We've given our customers an opportunity to sign up for more information about lots of different things that we sell, webkins or lampergés. So when we get new product in or we have a special promotion, we can target just the customers who want to know about that particular line. So make sure that your database is set up and your sign-up sheet makes it possible for customers to let you know which information they want. Number six, measure the results. Your internet provider and your email marketing people can help you figure out how to know when people have opened the mailings, how many people have read them, how many have clicked through to your website. You can also include a, a, a coupon or a special offer so that you can easily track how many people have taken advantage of the mailing you sent. But I also find you can target, you can, I'm sorry, you can tell how successful an emailing has been just from the people who come in the store and mention it. So be sure you always ask customers why they've come in. Number seven, continuity. Just because you sent one email, it's not enough. Make sure that you continue to send emails to your customers roughly once a month that look like your store, that continue to build your brand, because if you mail them every single month at the same time, your customers will start to learn to look for them. So the seven simple secrets for successful email marketing. Start building that database right now. Set goals so you have an idea of what you're doing with each campaign. Start slowly so you don't drive yourself nuts. Always show your store's personality and personalize directly for your customers. Measure your results and continuity is absolutely essential in any marketing effort. Thanks for visiting the Gift and Home channel.